What's up everybody? Welcome back to Smell Good Feel Good. I'm Cody, this is Stud Muffins, and today I'm going to be talking about an amazing gourmand fragrance that's perfect for the fall. So if you love gourmand fragrances, you better stand fast. <laughs> So today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a fragrance called Lu Sawin, and I know it doesn't look like, based off the spelling, it would be called Sawin, but I looked it up and that's how you pronounce that word. So Lu Sawin Eau de Parfum by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Now I don't know if you all watched my favorite aftershaves video, it doesn't look like a whole lot of people were too interested in that. but. I had a video talking about my favorite aftershave scents and a lot of the aftershaves that I had in that video were by Crown King or Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, they're under the same umbrella now. And Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements is an artisan wet shaving company and they make wet shaving soaps, they're vegan soaps, so if you're vegan and you wet shave, that's a good uh, brand that you could go with. They also make really awesome aftershave colognes that have pretty good performance, and they also make brushes and razors and scuttles, all sorts of things like that. But recently, Douglas, the owner of Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements, started making Eau de Parfum versions of his aftershave colognes. And I've been meaning to try them out for a very long time. He has a wide variety and I finally pulled the trigger on buying one and I am not disappointed at all. I knew based off of previous products that I bought from Phoenix Arson Accoutrements, I knew that I, I couldn't go wrong, but um, yeah. I'm happy I finally pulled the trigger on this. So, Blue Sawin. Sawin. Blue Sawin. Eau de Parfum. What's it smell like? Like I said, guys, this is like a gourmand lover's wet dream. If you're one of those kind of people that like to go to Bath and Body Works and smell their holiday candles and different scents there, then you're gonna love this. So let's get down to the scent profile. So with Blue Sewing, you're going to get sandalwood, burnt sugar, pumpkin, bourbon, and then you're gonna get some extra notes kind of added to it because this fragrance was oak barrel aged for a year. So you do get some extra notes in there from that process. So when you spray this on, you get this very warm, rich blast of that burnt, almost brown sugar type scent. It almost has a, almost like a salted caramel scent to it as well. And you're not getting a pumpkin spice type pumpkin scent. It's not like that. It's, uh, it's kind of like, um, a, kind of like a hint of a realistic type pumpkin scent. And then you also just get this very nice, warm, boozy note going into it that I think is probably what adds to that caramel-like effect and I feel like there's vanilla coming through as well. This is a very delicious and tasty smelling fragrance. This is a gourmand through and through and to me whenever you think about fall and the scent profile of fall and like Halloween and stuff like that, this is what it smells like. Like I said, if you're one of those people that like the smell of like those fall or autumn candles from Bath and Body Works, then you're gonna love this. If you don't like Gourmand, you will probably not like this fragrance. But if you are like me and you love Gourmand fragrances that smell delicious, then you will like this very, very much. Like I said, it's just a brown, burnt sugar, um, slight caramel vanilla boozy fragrance with a little bit of hint of that sandalwood and pumpkin. As far as performance goes, this is like beast mode projection whenever you first put this on for like an hour or so. 
Um, it almost, it, it like smacked me in the face whenever I first sprayed it. So definitely go easy on the trigger. Like I said, this is a very rich fragrance that is meant for cooler weather. Do not wear this in the summertime because it will like probably give you a crazy headache and make you sick. But it has really good longevity as well. I sprayed it on the back of my hand probably two and a half or three hours before I went to the gym yesterday. And then I trained for like two hours in a gym that doesn't have air conditioning. So I was sweating my butt off and, you know, wiping my forehead with, you know, sweat and all that other stuff. And even after my training session, I could still smell it on the back of my hand. And then I did my other test where around 8 p.m. last night, I sprayed this on the back of my hand and then I went to bed. And then when I woke up this morning, I sniffed the back of my hand and I could still catch faint whiffs. Not very strong, but I could still detect it as a skin scent. So this does have very good longevity too. So in terms of projection, longevity, this is very, very good. In terms of price, Blue Sawin comes in a 30 ml bottle for $49.95 on the website. And if you really like this fragrance and you're a wet shaver, you can also get a matching shaving soap and aftershave splash or cologne. So you could use the soap for your shave of the day, then you can use the aftershave splash, and then you can overlay it with some of this Eau de Parfum. So there you have it folks. If you are in the market to get a nice fall gourmand scent and you want to try something new, try Blue Sewing from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And I will provide a link in the description below of where to find this site. And if you're not already a wet shaver, I highly recommend it. And they have a lot of great wet shaving products. I pretty much just solely use their stuff. I've tried a lot of other stuff out there, but I just really like PAA stuff. But yeah, hope you got something from this and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. That would help immensely. And I will see you all next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.